In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sin. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. Oh, search me, God, and know my 
So let us turn to the Lord with our prayers and petitions this day. Before we do that, I'm going to have to adjust the live stream on the phone. Because the presence is looking at the stays now. It's gradually sliding down, you see. So let us turn to the Lord with our prayers and petitions this day. We pray for the church and all of God's people, that we may listen always to the gospel and act out the challenges it presents to us in our lives. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our world and its many needs. We pray especially for those who are suffering from the fires in America at this time. For all those parts of our world caught in the midst of conflict and war. And we pray for peace and reconciliation amongst the nations. 
Lord, in your mercy, we pray for ourselves in our journeys of faith, that we may live out in our lives what we believe in our hearts. Lord, in your mercy, for those who are sick at this time, for those who care for them, that God may bless them and keep them always. Lord, in your mercy, for those who have died and those whose anniversaries occur at this time, we pray that they may receive the joy of heaven. Lord, in your mercy, and we ask for the prayers of Mary, Queen of Heaven, as we pray together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. We make these and all our prayers through Jesus Christ, who is Lord for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer, through to the divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the good and glory of his name, for the good and good of all of the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty. And by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the archangels and all the saints we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, 
by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Declan, our Bishop, and all who serve your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, Saint Bernadette, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
the Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. <coughs> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those who are joining us today through the live stream and on YouTube, we pray with them an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since many cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into their hearts. We embrace you as if you were there already, and unite ourselves wholly to you, 
never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns for ever and ever. Amen. Just to reassure you that um, with the government's announcement yesterday um, about the changes in guidelines, it won't affect um, our ability to gather together for public worship, so just to reassure you. It may affect the golf, however, Brian. Anyway, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen.